Hi, today I'll be reviewing, uh, Bill here, sorry, today I'll be reviewing Transformers Robots in Disguise Combiner Force Shock Drive and Warnado. So there we go, there then to there. There's the back of the box there. Shows that crash and combine. And you can use them uh, to combine. Also works with and it's compatible with other Prime Strong and other such uh, characters. It's obviously a repaint of another two figures. These are for, for, whose names I forget. But uh, uh, this is clearly a repaint. I think it looks better like this, like the Decepticon ones. I think the other two were Autobots. But uh, same mould, but uh, obviously different characters, different repaint. Probably a different head as well. So looking that really nice that. And the other two there. Yeah, there, there's a little lap thing you can do for the game. All that blurb there. Nothing in the bottom. Just that at the side. You can see the artwork there. The artwork looks really nice. That, that almost looks like uh, Cyclonus. It's got the same head as Cyclonus. So looks really nice. So without further ado, I'll get it out and show you the the about the packaging. Okay. Uh, before I do that, just one little thing. You can also it has the same connectors. You've seen this figure anyway, as uh, Menasaur. You can connect them onto the arms and maybe the legs. I don't quite know if they turn into. Arm, an arm or a leg, it doesn't have the hands. Now the one thing I forgot to do with this in the, my original video review, these extend like that. That extends and that extends. A bit tight, they do extend. There you go there, you can see they slightly extend. Okay, I forgot to do that. I mean, ha having it another way doesn't make any difference. It's, it's just a solid arm that doesn't have any articulation apart from the combiner socket, you know, it doesn't have an elbow joint or nothing. Extending these don't give it an elbow joint or nothing, so you're not going to get any more articulation out of keeping them closed or extending them. But they do extend, okay? It's the one thing I forgot. But, and I'll try and show one of these as a foot or a leg, or just to show the in interconnectivity that they can have these. But it won't be perfect because it doesn't have a hand like that. Or it won't form a foot like that forms a foot which is specifically for this this figure but um, you can connect them because it just proves that you, you can connect these on even though it's going to look a bit stupid okay so without further ado I'll get these out of the packaging okay do that now one other thing I forgot I don't know what, where my brain is where I got them from yes where I got them from Got them from the entertainer. This entertainer there, and they were eighteen pounds. There they are there. RID Crash Combiners. That's them there. Eighteen pound they were. Okay, you probably can get them cheaper. I'm not saying you're going to get eighteen pound across the board. Whatever store or online retail you get them for, you probably find them cheaper. But that's what I paid for, it and that's where I found them. Okay. Right here they are out the box, out the packaging. Now be careful with this one. This one's got a hair trigger. It likes to use. It, it has a similar thing to the uh, automorph technology. You know, like the live action movie figures in, from the early or oh, live action movies had. You know, they could spring load and the bits pop open and all that. This is the same kind of idea about it. But it's on a hair trigger. As soon as you touch it or drop it, it, it activates it. And it, makes the arms pop out and all that sort of thing. So just be careful, it's the thing's in a wee bit of a hair trigger this. So, it's holding together just now, but it might play up on the camera later on, I don't know. So in case it springs open, it will show you off the gimmick. Right, and there's, um, I'll try and get the names of them. That was Shock Drive, this one. Looking really nice, I love it in these colours. I don't know if you prefer the Autobot ones that came out. I can't, well, see, I can't remember the names of them, sorry about that. But I'm sure you know who they are if you've got these already and there's Autobots, but these are the Decepticon ones. Uh, repaints and they look really nice. I prefer it as this colour. It's really nice. 
and I'll show you the bottom but that's just a robot kibble and there is war needle there it is again looking a little bit like uh, what's the name of that thing uh, ape face isn't it has that ape face look about it in that little jet ape face with a tight master sat in it kind of look have that little bit of ape face about it that jet anyway there it is there really nice and again like with Menasaur they seem to have peg holes for five millimeter pegs that takes weapons but they don't no weapons come with them same with my review for uh, Menasaur each individual ones had peg holes in the roofs but it doesn't come with any individual weapons you can use anything in your Collection that it has a an add the um, you know fan mode the weapons onto them if you want that that's up to you but you know just add weapons from other characters you've got in your collection uh, that takes these but the, the holes take the pegs that has pegs that these holes fit but um, it doesn't actually come with any weapons unfortunately for some weird reason so it's mysteriously why have they got these peg holes I don't know seems very strange to me right well we'll go on with the review so uh, individual modes I think we'll do first and then oh first of all size comparisons here's Legends class wheelie so they're not that much they're about similar size to Legends class wheelie so about the same, same size as a Legends class figure and he's next to him as well Legends glass really next time, so they're about, about same same size, about kind of the same size. You can see going on there. So there we are. They're roughly the same size, kind of roughly. Okay, so not that much bigger than the Legends glass figure. Two, two Legends probably four my deluxe. Okay, right. Give me a sec. So we'll take shock drive first, right? These are, these are just bricks, much the way the individual ones for Menasaurus. They just seem to be very simplistic with these, I don't know why. But that's just, you, all you do is just pop the arms out for the individual robot modes. We're not going to combine our modes yet. You pop the head out, close over the chest, and you, as you saw over there, you pop the arms out. Now, that's the only uh, limited articulation that's got the arms. It doesn't move back and forth. It's just that. And that's it, you can move the arms right out like that, or have them angled as much or little as you want. But they do not move, they don't have any elbow joints, nothing. You've got the feet down there, and that's him. I'll try and zoom into the head, if I can. He nearly went and zoomed in there. Ah, there's the head there. And you can see his face there, looking really cool. He does have that kind of cyclonus in a helmet, that produces protrusion at the top of his helmet there, a bit like Cyclonus, so I'll just show you that off and you can see the detailing on that, looking really cool, the detailing on it, yeah that's the back there, that's the front there, I mean that's a, that is a nice head sculpt, the head doesn't move by the way as you imagine, it does not move at all, like I said these are bricks, b b bricks so expect <laughs> little to or very little articulation one or two or three step at the most that's basically the way to look at them right if you want because the bigger robot does this you do this if you want the legs splayed apart all you have to do is just get, open that clip like that and push it out like that trouble is you get this big gap here there's nothing we can do about it that's just the engineering of it for the the combiner uh, part of it so but you can do that because if you want the legs further apart you are left with that gap though see closed in no gap open gap but there you go it's there if you want it it's an option but you can split the legs further apart so that's him there right now for war nado that was shock drive all you do is just fold these up. Ah, fold them up that way. This thing wants to pop open, like I said, it's on a hair trigger. 
you move these up like that you open these out again limited to no articulation other than that movement in the arms you open up the chest you fold out the head which is there fold it out like that and there it is and there's his face again I'll try and zoom into his face yes he's looking more like Cyclonus actually he kind of looks like um, Knockout from Transformers um, Prime doesn't he? he has that kind of look about like Knockout the, kind of round about the silvery face and the eyes and the mouth he kind of has that look not the helmet just around the silvery face so yeah, he kind of has that same kind of look like knockout. Anyway, that's him there. You can't splay the legs open in this one because it's the top. It's the top half of the combiner robot, so it just would not work. So, but that's what he is. Again, he's a brick, a bit brick. So you're left with little to no articulation on it. Very little articulation. Sorry, with the chest opening the head coming out and the arms moving out to the side but other than that none oh, and then moving up for the feet but none other than that none so that's him there it's, although it's harder for him to stand I don't know how enough you get that to stand though unless ah hold on I had that wrong I had that wrong sorry I had that wrong you move them and it's not doing that you move them down there like that that's his feet that's his feet. So you don't move these up like that. You move them up for the robot mode later on. You move them halfway like that. That's his feet. That's how he stands. Okay. I was wrong. Sorry about that. <laughs> it just shows you a little of research. People will be like, oh, he didn't research these properly. You always get the odd complaint. But that's how it is. Okay, because he stands on that bit there. So that's that. Okay, so that's them in their individual robot modes, as little as articulated as they are. So we'll get it to its combiner mode, but before we do that, I better do size size comparison. So he is, they are, they do are the size that I showed you with in vehicle modes as a Legends class figure. So they're basically, Legends class size figure, there it is there. It is next to Legends class wheelie. So that's basically what you're getting. Okay. Right, I'll move that aside. Now we'll very quickly put these back to the spaceship modes or vehicle modes or alt modes, whatever you wish to call it. And then we'll go on to the combiner mode. Okay. And then we'll do the interactivity with Menasaur. But you can use it on the other ones that are coming out like and you can use it then with the other double combiners you know, the crash combiners, the other ones that are out uh, of course you get the Autobot, you can mix and match the Autobot one of this, you know, it's a different colour, it's the Autobot one you can mix and match it like the mash -em ups you can do the same idea with that or the Combiner Wars, you can uh, you can do the same, mix and match the Combiner Wars figures with whatever other figure you wanted to add on to it to make your own. Same idea. Right, I'm, I'm rambling now. What you want to do here, as you can see, is a little arrow. If I can get it in. There's an arrow that points down the way, and there's one there that points up the way. You just want to put the two together, and it'll auto morph. Like that. Well, hey, I'll do that again in case you missed it. There's a couple of steps you've got to do to transform it fully, but it kind of auto morphed it into its thing. Way to put it back, you've got to just fold these back together and a pain in the bottom this thing is because it's on a hair trigger. So I'll do that again. You just push them together. Um, aye. Push them together like that, and it springs open like this. Now, it's not complete, it's not complete. What you want to do is you rotate that bit over, it was once the smaller robot's feet, and you push it right back to there, exposing the fists. 
uh, you want to take the feet here and rotate them round like that forms them um, I like the little thrusters it's molded into they're pretty nice and finally you want to split this if you can split it and that's you that's him and his uh, shock needle mode okay there he is in the shock needle mode and I'll show you his head sculpt because it's really nice that is a nice looking head sculpt there it's almost got the same kind of thing as as uh, Optimus Prime isn't it that kind of mouth visor thing going on there and that's him there oh and there's the thing if you want to scan it so you can scan shock needle into the game I don't bother with the game to be honest but it's the oh, zoom back in again I'll hold it there it's not easy to hold it I'm shaking about uh, while it's up there you get to see the good detailing on it for things that are so limited or taking something like a brick it has good, not bad or uh, sculpting on it Def, uh, detailing on the figure. What why this thing is zooming out? I do not know. Nice detailing on the figure. Again, a brick. So this goes up, but it's on a spring, as you can see in there. So it's just going to stay down there. There's no way to hold it, pose unless you hold it up, physically hold it there. Uh, it won't stay up. Okay, it's part of the f function of the gimmick. And the legs don't move, they're just completely solid, no waist rotation either. That bit flips forward, that again, that's to transform it back. Uh, it can take 5mm pegs for any other weapons that you have with other figures, it can fit on there, but it doesn't come with any. Oh, one other articulation it does have is at the elbow, never forgot that. It does have articulation in both elbows, so you can do that. Okay, so there we go. I'll transform this back. Oh, before I transform it back, I'm, I nearly forgot. So there's no point showing off articulation because it doesn't really have any other than the elbow movement. Uh, the head and the head doesn't move. Just solid piece. So and the legs don't move at all, apart from the feet rotating the feet. So what we'll do is we'll do a size comparison. And here is a deluxe class figure, Titans Return deluxe class figure. And of course it stands exactly the same height as a deluxe. You get two legends that form a deluxe. And that's him there, okay. Right, I'll transform him back quickly. Because I want to show off the Menasaur thing. But he does have that slight... Uh, kind of f fan mode interconnectivity. It's not... You know, it's not meant to be an arm and a leg for Menasaur or... The other ones that are coming out, like Galvatronus and that, but you can connect them because they have the same, you use the same connectors. So I'll show that off. So here we go, you push that back together, you push them round that way. I keep wanting to push them round the other way, they don't go that way. That way. You separate them like that. I can only do this with this because I don't think this top one will work. Uh, you're left with half a body. <laughs> you close them over the fists. Close them over the fist. I'm actually doing this one on screen because it's so limited articulation, so simple steps to. And you move them up there like that. Oh no, you move them down. You move them down like that. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, uh, you move that over like that. You move them over like that. Move them up like that. This is where it gets all hair triggery. It doesn't want to lock in. There, it kind of locked in there. You've just got to try and lock it in. It, see what I mean? It's, it's, it's in a hair trigger. It just doesn't want to stay. Or at least mine does it. I don't know if you have a problem. What are the Autobot version of this is a problem? Because it's just everything's in a hair trigger. Right, so that's him back to that mode. And we've got the legs here. Now, oh, what I will do is I'll rotate them back round because they'll form the feet of uh, Menasaur or Galvatronus, whoever you want to put it with. So here's Menasaur. 
Wait to bring this up. I'll take the leg, one of the legs off of Menasaur. There it is. And I'll put this on there. If it can. It should fit actually. There. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, you would probably need the other one of some size because it's way too long. <laughs> I didn't realise it was that long. Hmm. It's way too long. You would need the Autobot one of this or two of these to make but it makes the figure way, way too taller. Way too tall, okay. But they do fit on there as you can see. Uh, I didn't realise that. I, th I thought it was going to fit in there. Uh, no, it's not going to work. I'll try an arm. Hold on to try an arm. Uh, it does work, but you're going to get, you're going to leave it with. But you, you're left with that. It's just sticking out there. <laughs> but they do, it proves they do fit, that they do use the same connectors to fit on there. It just means you're left with a stupid. not going to fit. I, I can put them on as well, but again I don't think this one is going to work hold on to check this one I don't think this one oh, he just wants to do that I'll try, I'll try this one, but I, no it's not actually it might it might I'll try this one, but I think you're going to end up with the same problem no, you're going to end up with the same problem and this one just wants to no, it's, it's too long, way too long. What you can do, I never thought of this, is put them both on there. Put them both on there like that. But it's going to make it too long. <laughs> He's going to be way too tall. That's what I thought, and that's what I never thought of doing. Putting them both on there. There we go. They're both on there, but they're way too tall, and the blooming thing has trouble standing. I'll try and get them to stand, but I don't think I can, because it wasn't really wasn't meant for this. No, it's no wanting to stand, but that's with it on. It makes it way too tall, and just looks completely uh, daft. But it's not meant for it. But it uses the same. Uh, connector system. That's what it is. Use the same connector system. So I'll put them back on and that's that. Okay, so that'll end the video now because that's showing that. It, you can connect it with the other crash combiners. It's probably more suited for that than it is for the combiner uh, set you can get. They're going to be coming out from the future like that and Bruticus and Galvatronus and all that. Okay, so that has been. Wait till I get these back round. So that has been com uh, Transformers Robots in Disguise Combiner Force. Shock Drive and War Nado as Shock Nado and they're Crash Combiners. Okay, uh, wait a minute, I forgot to put that back around there like that. That's them there. Now, like I said, you can get them uh, anywhere now. Places like I've got them Entertainer, you probably get them online. There are probably other places you get them cheaper. They're probably now for a wee while now or short time now. If you like them, pick them up. If you don't, leave them. Or if you've got the Autobot painted version of these, you have that. And you can mix and match these ones, of the Autobot ones, so you can mix and match the Crash Combiners across the board. Okay, so that's it. That's me. Okay, I better go. Bye for now. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to get uh, R.I.D. Um, Thermidor. I haven't seen it appear on Kapow Toys yet. The only place it might have its big bad toy store, I don't know if they have it on their line, 
and certainly hasn't appeared here in, in the UK stores yet so God knows when Thermidor will appear and the next one I hope to get is Galvatronis because it's in the catalogue actually I'll show you, I'll show you it right I know I was going to go but I'll show you this because it is actually in the catalogue the new Argus catalogue that sort of winter one it's actually in there see autumn winter and you go to the page that has the transformers on it if I can find them uh, they should be there because I didn't find them earlier ah there they are and there it is there there is Galvatronis see there he is there and it's number four look at number four there even tells you that it's Galvatronis. Four, fourth team combiner Galvatronis. Second team combiner Cyclonus, Skyjack, Cyberbot, and Riot Gear, Tread Shock figures. And there's, now I put that code into the in store thing you put the code into, a little electronic device, and it comes up with Menasaur. It doesn't have that. So God knows when that's due to come in. It doesn't have a date in there, as you can see. So it doesn't say it normally tells you a date on if it's going to be in coming at a later date. There's nothing on it there. But it is definitely in the catalogue. It's just hap no, it doesn't happen to be in store. And on the in store checking uh, machine device that you use, it's definitely not on there. So God knows if they ever are going to see it, or if it's just going to drip feed disease, it'll come out in September, October, or God knows when. Okay, but that's the next one I hope to get. Uh, well, if it comes very or fairly soon, okay, before I get Trypticon in August, uh, the, the Legends one, the Takara one. I don't know when it's going to appear in August, if it appears in August. Okay. So that's 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 the next thing I hope to get is the Garvatronis. Okay, so that's it. That's definitely me this time. So bye for now. Thank you. Bye.